Hi, I'm Steve Sweeney. The video you're about to watch is the third in our Understanding Email series, tutorials that explain how email works. In today's video, we'll cover the protocols that define how email should be exchanged. If you find this video useful, please visit our website, www.fsl.com, to access other software, documentation, and references to make administering Pop, email. The Post Office easier. Protocol. So let's get started. IMAP, the Internet Message Access Protocol. MAPI, the Messaging Application Programming Interface, is defined by Microsoft and SMTP, the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Let's take a closer look at these protocols and see what they do. The first RFC to define how an MUA or client mail tool could retrieve and modify emails from a central mail store was POP, the Post Office Protocol. The first POP RFC was released in 1984 and with modifications POP is still in use today. The Internet Message Access Protocol or IMAP released in 1988 and updated many times since, provides more features than POP. The main advantage IMAP has over POP is that IMAP allows many devices, like your phone, computer, and tablet, to share the same view of a central mail store. IMAP is the protocol to select if you need to synchronize email across multiple devices. While there are several possible protocols that can be used to send or fetch mail between mail clients and mail servers, the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol is always used to send mail from a mail hub to mail hub if the message travels across the Internet. In fact, it is the SMTP protocol that made universal email exchange possible. As English is the universal language for pilots and air controllers, SMTP is the universal language for Internet postmasters and email traffic. The SMTP protocol was first defined by RFC 821 in 1982 before the Internet as we know it even existed. Currently, RFC 2821 defines the basic protocol for the Internet electronic mail transport, while RFC 5321 consolidates, updates, and clarifies many earlier send mail RFCs. It also covers the SMTP extension mechanisms and best practices for the contemporary Internet. And finally, there are Microsoft's MAPI protocols. If you use Microsoft Outlook as your email client, and Outlook is configured to use Microsoft Exchange for its email server, Outlook and Exchange are transferring data using Microsoft's MAPI programming interface. Also, any third-party application that works with Exchange or Outlook will use MAPI protocols to connect. But even the Exchange server typically uses the SMTP protocol to transfer email to external sites. This concludes the third video in our Understanding Email series. We hope you have found the video useful. If you have any comments or suggestions, we'd love to hear them. Please send them to comments at fsl.com. And please visit our website to access other videos in the Understanding Email series, as well as other information regarding administering email systems. And thanks for watching.